hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're wondering why i have this at my back that is because i made a video showing you 15 toddler approved activities and if you can see the cardboard paper is a bit smooshed so he's been playing with it uh, so i just left it in his room when he's tired of it and maybe i can take it out but for now he's still playing with it and he helps me out when i'm busy i told you guys how i figured out making videos with my two kids um so this is one of my secrets i have a chair in his room and I always sit there, you know, to edit my videos while he's playing, you know, to, you know, do other things, check my emails and stuff. I'm going to show you um, videos of him playing with them and so you can have an idea of, you know, what it is and how to make them. Some of these items I've purchased them a long time ago and I didn't get all these items in one day. Yeah, I'm not that rich. <laughs> Some of the items I already have at home, so I just, you know, kind of, you know, improvise. You don't really have to get these items. Some of them, it's something that you just see around in your house. <laughs> you can just use it to make activities for your, you know, for your loved ones, for your kids. If you want to see how I got my son busy <laughs> with his activities, keep on watching. Good job, Austin. Um, he gets so excited putting these puzzles together and he loves it when he finds the missing piece. I got this puzzle from Amazon for just $9.46. I'm going to link all the products I mentioned in the description box so be sure to check them out. This is paint in a Ziploc bag. I just added some kids paint in a Ziploc bag and I taped it on a window so we can just use his fingers to smash them together i find this over soccer ball set very entertaining you and your kids can play with this toy and i found myself playing with him with the, the toy and you can see the sister is you know trying to chase after the hover ball so it's very very entertaining my son loves to clean so i decided to buy him this kids cleaning set from amazon um, so anytime I'm cleaning, he always, you know, reach out for the toy and it's actually not a toy. It's, um, it's a cleaning set that is, is practical. I mean, he can use it to clean. So uh, I just, you know, pull water in the spray bottle and ask him to spray it on the floor. Sometimes I just put some things on the floor, maybe like rice or, you know, just something on the floor. And he just sweeps it and he's just this having Can fun sweeping. <laughs> so. so I made this play though using the ingredients I have in my kitchen flour, sprinkles, food coloring, water, and I added a little olive oil so it's not too sticky. I make this play though every time because he loves playing with it. Really? This one is one of his favorite activities. I just poured water in a cup, added some soap, then placed the cup on a tray so it's not so messy. And also uh, there's a straw so you can blow on the straw. And you have to make sure you're watching the child so he's not um, drinking the water. I literally had to drag him out of his room because he was playing so hard with this uh, colored spaghetti. What color is that, Austin? Red. Mm-hmm. Green. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yellow. Good job. Ah. Huh? <laughs> ah. Really? <laughs> so I bought two packs of 16 ounce spaghetti. I use food coloring um to color the spaghetti. So I, I use red, yellow, green, and blue. I just poured the spaghetti in four different Ziploc bags. And it just give it a shake and yeah, separated it using this uh, tray. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness! I you have gone haywire with this thing. Okay. <laughs> You're making a mess, Austin. You're making a mess. Oh my goodness. Look at what I've got in my sock. Really? I had to make sure I place some rubber mat so it's easy for me to clean. This activity Austin, is Austin, very messy, so we prepare to do some cleaning. Ew. Yaki, 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 yaki. I love the sand bus. It had some accessories uh, like a dump truck, a shovel, um, so you can just dig on the sand. So all you need to do is just get some sand and just pour it in the sand bus. And uh, it's an outdoor game, but you can also put it in the garage. Um, because of the sand, you can you can put it in the house. Or if you want to put it in the house, you can, you know, use some indoor toys like, um, for example, balls or pom pom or something. You can just, you know, you don't really have to put it outside if you don't want to be outside. But I just put this in the garage and he was playing with it. Um, it's been raining, so that's why I had to bring put it in the garage, so we are not outside and it's not getting wet and all that. This mower is really nice. It has a space where you can put some bubbles, and he just um, loves the sound that he makes. And sometimes we take it for a walk as well. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter is having so much fun watching his brother play with this uh, pom pom wall that I made. And it's really nice. It's very entertaining for kids. He just put some balls or pom pom through the hole and he just likes it. This slide, um, I got it from Amazon. I move it around the house. I can put it in his room. I can put it in his uh, in the passage. I can put it outside. Like it's very, very, very useful. Um, it used to be outside um, during the summer, but um, I had to bring it inside because it's getting cold. Yeah, so he loves playing with it and he just jumps. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. This um, sticky balloon wall is so easy to make. You just get uh, some self adhesive laminating paper and tape it to the wall. Just blow some balloons and just stick it. It's very easy to make. And uh, of course, the good old building blocks is very handy. And this one, I made it for his sister, but he ended up using it. So I'm like, okay, yeah, it's totally approved. Um, so this sensory bean is very, very, very educational for the kids. It helps them with their developmental health. And what I did is just I just added some ABC stickers um, what's it called um, ABC um, it sticks to the wall when it when it gets uh, some water 
so I just added that in the water and some pom poms. So he's just you know playing with it, and you know kids loves uh, water, so anything inside the water is always entertaining for kids. And oh my goodness, this is my childhood game. So I was trying to teach him how to play it. Uh, in my language, is called uh, Ise. I don't know what it's called in English. I'm trying to find the name, but I don't know if you know the name, please put it in the description uh, in the comment section. Um, I was trying to teach him how to use it, but he ended up jumping on it, and you know, I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> I think every child should experience hand painting. This is one of the activities they do in school and they find it very fun. It's, it's quite messy, but you know, sometimes messy is fun for them. They love to be messy sometimes and hand painting is one of the activities that you can do with your kids. Um, I do this with my daughter as well i have just have to make sure i hold her hands so she don't put it in her mouth you know um so yeah so i, I love this um hand painting is it's good too Oh my goodness, I have the best neighbor. My neighbor bought this uh, bowling toy set for my son. She has a son about the same age with my son. And she always gets him gifts and I really appreciate that. Um, this bowling set, I'm gonna look for the link to see if I can find it in the in, in, in Amazon and I'll link it for you guys. It's very, very entertaining for kids <laughs> you know uh, so he's just you know playing with the bowling set and he loves it and he teaches them colors as well because you can see he has uh, different colors and he, he loves it yeah, I love it too oh, no. we did it we did it mm -hmm. I put it up we did it <laughs> Mommy, come on. <laughs> um, this obstacle maze, um, I just added some painter's tape across the wall and it's just going through the painter's tape <laughs> and uh, you can see the slide over okay. there uh, on the hallway. Um, like I said, I put the slide everywhere. I move it. I even put it in the living room as well. He loves to slide on the slider while he's playing with his obstacle maze and I find it very interesting too. Oh. Careful. <laughs> this 100 words book is very educative and it teaches them how to pronounce no. words and it teaches them how to make sentence um it's, it's really entertaining for them and at the same time they're learning i love it i got it from amazon and like i said i'm going to link all the things that i mentioned in the description box so be sure to check it out Thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of videos please give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family please turn on your notifications so you can you know watch my videos as soon as they come up on youtube thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next video bye bye